What's up, y'all? So, Mod in Paris, the failed internet love story addressed it all. Girl. Let's see what he has to say about ghosting our friend Paris. Okay? And, um, that's it. Let's get into it. Mm. Hurry up. <laughs> I want some of them chitlins. I like pig beef. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G. Uh, What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host. And today, I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? And what the goddamn hell you leak. So, yeah. Y'all already read the title. Let's get into it. It is your boy, M.O.D. in the building. Uh, back on the scene, I know it's been a while. Uh, I was home. I was I honestly have been dealing with mad like personal situations and just you know sometimes life just comes at you fast when you're trying to level up and I really just had to slow down a little bit. I was moving way too fast just with everything. So I got all of that handled. I'm back on the straight and narrow. My, I'm back refocused on what's important. Uh, between my mixtape, I had to finish up the mixtape, pick the last couple songs, at, I mean, all in the last month. I lost three tires on the bends. You feel me? 1,200, 400 a pop on the, on the tires on the bends. And as you guys know, because of my last video, I did get locked up uh, for that one, you know, little night, couple, couple minutes, couple hours. Uh, I was dealing with that situation, and that situation cost me, you know, cost me a little bag. Um, as you guys know, I'm gonna make, first of all, this is going to be my first and last time like making this a big deal because I feel like it really isn't a big deal, but my silence in this specific area has caused people to develop like or dislike or like opinions of me I've never even had to deal with before, so yeah, let's just jump right into it. Um, as you guys know, I was doing videos with, what's that say? As you guys know, I was doing videos with um, Paris. It's not, I, I'm, I really don't have any problem with Paris or like, I don't know why it's, it seemed like I have a problem with Paris or like the internet is saying I'm intimidated by Paris, but um, Basically, me and Paris, as you guys know, we were doing videos. Uh, let's let's just go through the whole timeline. Um, the first the first time I linked Paris, I believe. Timeline. We don't even need a timeline. What? Why? What happened? Well, you guys seen the first time we met, but the first time I linked Paris, it was actually the. Rate her stripper outfits video and uh, the when the when was the last time video and um, honestly that was the first time I met her it was a good vibe um, I really went over there I need to stop saying um so I'm gonna work on myself with that but it was the first time I met her it was a good vibe I gotta get a paper towel yeah. It was just, it was to me, it was to me, honestly, it was just a collab. Like, it was just work. I felt like YouTube was like tired of me just, you know, rapping or like, or like just living my life. So they, I, I felt like time for me to bring new content. And because I knew Paris had hit me up previously in the past, I was like, yo, let's, let's finally make this happen. Let's see if she wants to do videos. So I pulled up on her. It was a definitely, it was definitely a good vibe. You guys enjoyed the videos and content. From there, I linked her again. And that was when we did uh, the questions that guys don't want to ask girls or girls don't. Ma, we know the timeline. <laughs> we was watching. <laughs> I want to ask guys. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but you will get what I'm saying. And... Again, you guys enjoyed that content. And to me, it was, it, I swear, to me, it was just like simple collabs. Me and Paris weren't really speaking like that much. It was really like work. Like, I was like, 
Oh, like, you know, let's bring some new content. Let me spice up my channel. The next video Paris made was, was Paris expressing her true feelings for me. So the background for that is like, I think I was actually going to the studio that day. And I was actually going to the studio that day and Paris called me and told me she wanted to do um, a prank video on me. Uh, when I first met Paris, I actually explained to her like that in order for us to do certain types of videos, like we would have to be on the same page because like, you know, I don't want no crazy image be being put out here or to be like off, like got caught off guard by a situation because it's not like when I do a prank on Clarence or I do a prank on Queen or I do a prank on Lee where it's like we have a certain rapport with each other and a certain relationship to understand like oh to laugh off certain things that you know may not be funny or may or may be funny so that was one of the first discussions I actually had with Paris like yo just before we do anything crazy just run it by like run, let's run it by each other just so that we're always on the same page and like nobody ends up looking stupid or crazy um which it wasn't a problem so that day Paris actually called me she said she was gonna do an I like you prank on me so it's him snitching on the stage for me you just you just gonna snitch on the stage okay that day whatever the video's going on i'm getting texted and it to me it's not serious you feel me to me it's really work so it's like boom i'm responding i'm playing the game in the midst of the messages that day i could tell that it was moving from like a prank to like, this is like borderline serious because it's like the way I'm playing it is in the middle, but she's like, I felt like she was like, you know, trying to get answers out of me, not forcing me to do anything, but definitely trying to get certain answers out of me. You know, just, you know, probing to- Somebody blowing that phone up. See what, you know, she could find out. So- Uh-uh, Destiny, we reacted to this shit. Boom, after that, the video, whatever, we finished that. I come back, I watch it, and I, and it's like, oh, snap. Paris is like, ha has true feelings, she has true feelings, all of this, all, like, that's what she's saying, oh, it's telling my, my true feelings, whatever. So, to me, it's like, it's like, damn, you know, not, not to say, not to say, like, Paris, like, I'm not gonna sit here and, like, slander her or, like, make her, you know, seem unattractive and unlike Paris is definitely pretty so it was like damn okay like I I'm not really I'm completely uncomfortable like let me just say that right now I'm completely uncomfortable because I've never had like I've never done anything in the public and I, I see a lot of like I feel like I don't want to blame Paris for this but I see a lot of like Bitter woman. I, I don't want to like it's not all the woman, but I see a lot of bitter. That is a real New York thing. They do not use the word women. It's woman. In in the sentence, either way it goes. The <laughs> woman that just I don't know if they're bored or like they need somebody to come through and clap them cheeks just to fix their mood, saying like this stuff by Paris or like I just like to deal with women in the secret because I like low-key woman and I don't want to take them serious and all this I don't know what the internet thinks of me and I feel like there's an image created of me on the internet that like I can't do nothing about so I'm not about to sit up here and try to change your minds about me but I don't have no problems in the female department like and it's like and it's also like I don't have no problems in the female to the department to the point that like I, there's a certain standard and level of just looks and you know 
mental and type of woman I deal with all the time that is just like it's crazy because it's like I think people think that I'm just I'm just out here talking to anybody and I just get lucky you know for a girl to like me. damn he did not like her <laughs> yo he did not like her Not Clarence says otherwise. That is hilarious. What are y'all thinking? Tell me in the comments, please, what y'all thinking. I need to know. I need to know. <laughs> I need to know what y'all are thinking right now. Okay, not the G word. This man is not that. Because she is stripper. Hmm. It could be because a stripper and he don't want to mess with a stripper. I mean, he should have just said that, though. Hmm. Which is, like, crazy. But, um, back to the story. I was uncomfortable because I was just never used to that. And it felt like in that situation, because of the internet, it's like a girl tells you she likes you. So, it, like, pushes, like... The narrative of like now what are you gonna do next and what are you gonna i agree with that i agree with that what are you gonna do to capitalize on the fact that she likes you right That's so let right. me make sure let me make sure I'm, I'm going to order what was the next video we did the next video we did the next video we did after that was uh the live stream okay the live stream now the live stream brought a, brought a route <laughs> brought about a lot of like just talk and conversation and commenting and just chatter around me in Paris because it was like you 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 getting to see me in Ch Paris chilling live time now me and Paris have done three videos and all that before. I think she can attest to the fact that I was never nervous or anything or nothing like that. We were just actually just having conversation but and doing videos. But I don't know if she can attest to that. You was acting real weird. <laughs> In private, there's so much that like you don't have to deal with or feel like you're protecting. You feel me? So... In the live stream, a lot of people said I was nervous, she made me nervous, you know, I wasn't picking up on things and all of that, but I was just really, I'm a Virgo, and I'm not saying that to be like one of those astrology niggas or like, uh, because I'm not really astrology nigga, but I am truly, honestly an overthinker. I overthink everything, which is even to the point why I haven't even responded until actually now because it's like, Yesterday she made a video saying we're beefing and it's oh she made a video what the fuck like this came all the way back up tell? to me and it's been like a month and a half since we've really even spoke so it's like I really don't I really did just didn't get that one but um she don't like the fact that you just ghosted her and didn't say anything that is the part that's weird <laughs> I don't know why people don't get that. I, a lot of people, I feel like, think that they can just move in a way. Which, I mean, you, it's a, you got the right to do whatever the fuck you want to do. But all that shit comes with consequences. Um, But with this here, I mean, he just could have told her he wasn't interested. She just, she, he just should have said, I'm, I'm not interested. I don't want you. But let me just keep watching. Yeah, the live stream. Now... I have never dealt with a stripper or oh. somebody with that occupation Ooh. in my life before. Okay. So, with that... Oh, he being honest, honest today. When I got in front of that camera, he won't be there was one. a part of me that was like my mother's son that was really like, yo, let's protect her image. So it's like, don't be reckless just because you could be reckless don't be don't don't do too much don't make her seem like a person that she's like it seemed like when i met paris it really seemed like you know like even though she was stripping it seemed like 
that was an image. Maybe I read it wrong, and maybe, this is what I'm saying. This is all. This is all probably me and my overthinking. But it is. It seemed like that was an image, like she was trying to Push. separate from to me, mm. to me. Like you know, like it's what she had to do. But it was like you know, YouTube. If YouTube works, it wasn't something that she really wants to do. Like you know, so I never wanted to make that part of a, of our story or like you know do twister and get super freaky or like do something crazy slap her on the ass or do all the spicy stuff that i know the people probably wanted because it's like that's not the image you know that she's trying to promote on top of that i felt like even through all of this me and paris were really not that close other than on camera like i feel like we had great on camera chem chemistry but like me and Paris never, at the, uh, up until that point, really had real conversations about any. He might have dodged the bullet, y'all. I ain't even gonna lie. <clears throat> I seen somebody say in the comments that she was trying to get close to Clarence and Queen. I don't want to say she was trying to get close to Clarence and Queen. I would just say that she was trying to create something for the masses. And for the bag, she knew that she could make money with him. And I think that that was to try and take her away from being a dancer. I, I don't think that she wants to do that. Um, yeah, it's something. It's something. I'm going to keep listening. It's something. <laughs> I'm going to keep listening. Anything other than like YouTube, um, we would text here and there. But again, like me... I, like, I'm doing TikToks, I'm recording in my crib up until about 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock, respectfully, is when, you know, Paris goes and does her thing. You feel me? So, our relationship, just in terms of communication, was always a little weird because it's like, we couldn't talk all day in terms of, like, she works late. So, like, late night when I'm sitting on the phone and I could be on the phone talking to girls or, like, calling or, like, sitting on the phone texting back and forth she was busy and then that would also her being busy would also cause her to wake up pretty late which is like it would also it would always be a thing i'd be like damn you're gonna wake up and do like we're gonna do videos today like you you good like you good she'd be like i'm tired or whatever so oh yeah 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 i see where he coming from on this one i ain't gonna cap i'm on the side <laughs> niggas uncle melvin i sent you an email baby doll Appreciate you, uh, Uncle Melvin. Not Mr. Goodnut, but appreciate you, Uncle Melvin. You got to meet Nikiana. Uncle Melvin got to meet Nikiana. We got to talk. We got to have a conversation. We're going to make something shake, Uncle Mel. Mm -hmm. That was just the communication in terms of our relationship. Uncle Melvin and Nikiana got to go on a, uh, a virtual date. It got to be a virtual date. It's given. Mm -hmm. Shit really never made me feel like we were that close to this point. So even the awkwardness in front of the camera is like, yeah, she expressed her true feelings for me. But at the same time, we, to me, I don't know. I don't know. To me, we weren't, we weren't really that close to me personally. All right. Uh, what's, what's next? And it's, and, and not to even like that's not i'm not saying any of that to like talk bad about paris because she puts she posts stripper vlogs and stuff like that she's like you feel me i'm not saying that to talk to talk bad about her it's just there was always a a part of me that was trying to you know keep that part of her like let her talk about that okay i just i just don't think he wanted to he wasn't feeling the stripper thing. And I'm not going to lie. A lot of people in my comments when I was speaking about it, it was like, Nick, he don't want a stripper. And I'm thinking like, well, damn. I mean, I didn't think it was that, I didn't think it was that bad because he wasn't really talking about it much. I think it bothered him the fact that she was, though. I don't think that he wanted, excuse me, I don't think that he wanted the image of dating a stripper. I just wish she would have said that, but I'm going to keep listening. You feel me? Like, if she wants to talk, if she wants to speak about, if she's comfortable about speaking about. Listen, don't come for me. 
Because him not dating a stripper ain't got shit to do with me. How he feeling about it? Ain't got shit to do with me, okay? I am all for the scrippers, okay? Neat love scrippers. I support the scrippers, okay? As far as I'm concerned, it's a nine to five. She handling her business. But, just saying. Her life, that's her life. Like, it's not me to come in here and start asking her crazy questions or, like, just putting her in crazy situations because of what she does. That was not my intention. You feel me? Like, and that's not... Evelyn, I don't want to say my mother's name or bleep that out, but she, she, she's not... You said Evelyn, you didn't bleep. Right. I'm going to go for that either and be, like, that disrespect. Even to the point when I just went home, I told my mom that... Paris was a stripper, and she was like, yo, I didn't even know that. Like, I watched all them videos, and you never said that once. I'm like, yeah, ma, I just didn't want to, like, you know, promote, a, put an image on her that, like, she was trying to get away from, which I, which I, which is probably me. That's just my overthinking. So, again, this is me. This is me. But I just need to clarify, you because know, it's just a lot. It, the date. There was in that live stream. There was there was pressure. There was pressure put on me by the internet to like perform. I guess that's what you would say. Uh, Paris even said in that live stream. He asked me on a date. She would write it. She wrote it in some of her like YouTube comments. Like, girl, when he asked me on a date, we'll go on a date and stuff like that. She would that like. She was playing the YouTube game, and he was not trying to play that shit with her. He was not interested from day one. I just wish he would have been like, oh, hey, ho, oh, oh. <laughs> It ain't like that. I don't want you like that. Uh, 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 uh. I don't want you. <laughs> I don't, I'm not attracted. I don't want you. That's crazy. All of that. So it was like, it was to the point where it was like, nigga, it's a date or, or else. Like, not or else because I could have just not went on a date. But it was like, okay, it's not a big deal to go on a date. Like, what is it? I don't, I don't really... I'm not gonna lie, dating for me, and and a lot of people killed me with this too, but like, I need to build, I'm, my feelings move slow, and the way I feel about people move slow, and I need to build up a certain comfortability before it's like, I know what, like, I'm from New York where girls just use niggas to go on dates, you feel me, just use niggas for food, you feel me, so, your PTSD and my PTSD, two different things, but, yeah. I mean, it, to me, it's just giving he don't trust, he don't trust the women. Or he hasn't found that woman yet. I, come on, accountability. He hasn't found that woman yet that, you know, makes him want to get outside his comfort zone. You know, I, I feel like he's saying some things that really, really make sense. <laughs> I mean, this is... I get exactly what he's saying, like, but I, I once again, I just wish he would have said that to her. That's why I'm trying to keep listening, but it's kind of like she should have been stopped at that first video. I right, listen, this was a uh, this was a good video. You know what I'm saying, my nigga? Boy, boy, I fuck with you because I I'm gonna see you on uh, you know, good luck with your career. You know what I'm saying? That it should have been one of those and this has gone too far if he didn't expect anything out of it and i think she was pushing the issue that's why he was willing to go along with it you know what i'm saying but yeah i just kind of wish he would adapt her up on the one too appreciate the video this was a good time you know what i'm saying but by, by my knowledge i got another bitch to go meet up with you know what i'm saying so <laughs> Um, so me and Paris went on a date, had a, I felt like I had a good day. It was a great day. It wasn't really like, it wasn't really like, oh my God, but it was like, yo, we got to kick it with each other in the outside of the crib setting. Cool. We went bowling. It was cool. It was fun. She beat me one game. It was cool. We, we drank. It was cool. Right. That was all that, that I, that was on camera. After the date, Pat, well, Paris spoke about it in her video. After the date, we went to her crib. We spoke about, like, 
we had like more open discussion like yo what like what have you been through in order to like cause like just like how who you are like yo what kind of like you know we spoke about like our past dating history and stuff like that and it was like cool vibe like you feel me that's back when i was still smoking weed so yeah you know i was just chilling smoking me and her he stopped smoking like this had to be like yesterday. Getting high, chilling. Um, actually, actually that day, what the fuck is this little fly doing in my face? It'd be a but nap. um, actually that day, um, I actually even I had went to the trap with her earlier. As she had on her video, I gave her when I went to the trap, I just gave her one of my eighths. Like here, take a take an eighth here. Like you feel me? But that's just me. Like I'm just I'm a nice guy. You feel me? So I'm like here, take an eighth. We got back to her crib, she rolled up, cause I smoke with the paper and Fonto. She smoked with the, uh, she prefers to like roll the backwoods, so she rolled up her shit, I rolled up my shit, we just had a good conversation. She posts her video, I, it's, okay, this is another big part of the, the story. And this is probably another part where I went wrong, and I don't want to say I went wrong, but it was like, at that point, I really didn't know what to call it. We had a What made him stop smoking? A good day. I didn't really know what to call it. Um, and I posted the video and I said, I went on a date with my crush. In all honesty, in all honesty, when I went on that date and I came home and I edited that video, I went online and I was like, yo, what title when you go on a date with a girl that the internet believes that you guys are like supposed to be like, you know, dating, interested in each other. What do you um, post? So I posted my crush. I don't know if that like. The Kia, I don't think that he thought she had feelings, friend. I don't think, I think that he thought it wasn't nothing like that. And then when she got the Russian and shit, it threw him for a loop. I don't think that he genuinely thought she had feelings for him. That's what I'm getting from. Cause some, cause like a, a miscommunication, but it's like a crush really, to me, that word really isn't deep or have too much meaning. It's not like I posted the love of my life or my future shorty or like nothing, but I feel like that probably caused some misunderstanding between the internet and, and me and her. But she posts her video and she put that we were, um, just like, we we probably end up being real loyal friends and good friends or some, some vernacular to that, to that standpoint. That was the first time where I realized that, like... Nah, he, you right. He should have made it clear. Like, dealing with a girl publicly could affect your situation to some extent. So, Paris said that, and I get comments full of, like, yo, this girl is using you. She's yo, a crush? That's a YouTube game. Honestly, niggas do not be crushing. Like, I didn't call, um, I didn't call TT my crush. I called her my shorty. But that's because I wasn't playing a game. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I wasn't playing the YouTube game. But, well, hell, I done privated them videos. If I have, if you ever seen Crush, clearly, the, like, it didn't, it didn't go nowhere because that's not what we was doing. You know what I'm saying? I can't, I can't, I'm trying to. She's doing all of this, all of that. She called you a friend. Did you just friend zone mod? Mod is in the friend zone, whatever. So, I was like. Niggas is reading. It's the internet. This is what the internet is for. This is what they do. This is what they do. It's not that big of a deal to me. I just ignored it. Whatever. Everybody's everybody's in my ear about whatever. Yeah, she does a question and answer. And in the question and answer, of course, there's going to be certain... Um, well, that shit just got way worse. The quality went from bad to bad. <laughs> questions what is going that on? pertain specifically to what we don't <laughs> look like he on a security guard camera <laughs> what happened my the couches to the side and shit let's <laughs> go we have like to to just the spicy gang and beyond me so 
she answers the the she answers the question. Um, would you go on a double date with Queen and Clarence? And that causes like a lot of people to be like, why would she pick that question out the group and whatever? And it's like I didn't really blame her because it's like the attention she was getting on on YouTube was definitely new for her. So of course it's gonna be like, she probably she probably done a million question and answers and that's probably like, wow, I've never even got asked that question before. So first of all, just in case like the internet, like they would, it will take me so long before I bring a girl around Queen and Clarence, just because naturally it's like, if there's a part of me that you can be the most ingenuine to try to get to or try to build a relationship with somebody. It's gonna be use mod to get to there. So that's would, a fact. People like he right about I, that. Like Clarence has only met one girl I've talked to, and I loved her. You feel me? And he's known about two, and I love both of them. You get what I'm saying? So yeah, there's two girls that I probably would even be able to just pull up to Queen and Clarence house right now. Like if I brought them and like when I got to the door, it'd be like, oh, that's not crazy. Why did you bring that girl to my house? First of all, that's just how I am. And that's that's how me, how I am, that's how Lee is because we know like they're Queen and Clarence like to the world. Like, that, like to me, that's just my means that I used to bust his ass playing basketball. And Queen is definitely, she's a star to me too. Like, let me not say that, but it's like, we came up together when she came to New York. So like our relationship is so normal, but I am very protective of them. So I would have never even, like Paris would have never just met Queen and Clarence unless we became something actually serious. Which yeah. again, I feel like is the miscommunication in the internet is just, feeling like we were way more serious than we were. But again, it's like when, when I get it, I get it. When the narrative is just coming from one person and you know, it, it, it seems a certain way. On top of that, in that question and answer, like, it's just mindfulness and i don't want to i don't want to seem like i don't want anybody to be like oh you're just you're being sensitive it's not he is deal. trying his best not to say i did not like that girl but i feel like there was a way to handle things because i felt like i was handling her situation with care like if i did a question and answer and somebody said how does it feel to be dating a stripper i would just skip over that question just for the simple fact of like, like stripper doesn't have to be who Paris is just because that's what she does to get money. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But the the question that made me like the first time I actually felt a way, I guess in this whole situation when it was like, did me and Mod fuck? That was the question. It was in her. It's in her thumbnail. All of that, and it was like to me, it was just like why, like, and then she was like. No, nigga, no, no, I, like, it was to some extent, like, nobody's touching me, I'm abstinent, da, 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 and I just felt like, like, there was a way to s still stay true to your abstinence and everything you stood for without saying, did me and my fuck, because it's like, now it makes it seem like, like, you're not, like, like, I'm trying to, to, to have relations or intercourse or do anything with you and it's and it's like I'm failing or something like I just felt like it created a a misconception image that just was like why you know like why he is a mama's boy yes but it's either given he's very private that's obvious he's very 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 private he doesn't want people to know um, clearly about his sex life or, um, you know, anything dealing with him emotionally and sexually is what it's given me. I definitely don't think he watched her video. Hell, I didn't even know she dropped the video, which I'm going to go watch. But 
He's definitely a, a huge overthinker, but most most Virgos are. Like Tudor's an overthinker. You know what I'm saying? Um, some some people they just are, but I, I feel like Virgos are at the top of the list. He has over thought this whole entire process and i mean honestly i still feel like he dodged the bullet because um i mean he don't he didn't know her enough to know her intentions but i think the internet really 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 fucked this up <laughs> uh thank you for the bits key i just seen a friend i think the internet really fucked this up they did i thank you for the bits too leah why did the internet it, like, why did it have to be like put out in that way to me so mm. um yeah but again that wasn't a big deal because it's like yo I, I felt like i understood because it's like i feel like when i first got on youtube and i first was like getting a taste of the attention and the you know people caring about what i had going on whether if people were caring about it for me or just the group I was in or the situation I was involved in, I feel like there was mistakes I probably made back then just, you know, not being able to tell, like, you know, how to do things. So it was like, okay, I'm not going to also, it was her channel. I'm not going to control her on, like, what she's trying to do. Again, I didn't feel like we were close enough for me to really speak up on that situation or be... Like, you know, that, like, oh, like, why did you do that? Like, why would you do that? So it was just like, okay, I let that go too. Now, the last, this is the last time I've actually, like, dealt with Paris, was actually the second live stream where uh, Paris pulled up, and it was, I feel like it was an okay live stream. Um, we gave, we gave, Different perspective. We thank you for the bits, friend. We I don't know what we talked about. Um. Oh, this this was the live stream in which she pranked me, right? And again, this is where like I come back to like just the mindfulness of like just everything, just just being mindful. It's just a lot of overthinking mixed with a lot of pride. I feel like whatever girl he he deals with, like he said, he had Clarence meet whoever, and he was like, I love her. Like, I think he kind of knows, you know, if it's somebody that he really going to rock with. And I he just wasn't rocking with her. But like I said, he could have told her. But I didn't like her because he didn't want people to connect him to a stripper. And he led her on without telling her and downplaying Everything lol like a day ain't that bad saying crush ain't gonna hurt. Now I agree. The the what he's arguing about is is petty. It's real petty. Um, but you know we all have our petty moments. I think it's the principle though. It's always the principle, it's never what's in front of you. So clearly I I think it would bother him more that people would like you said put him in the same sentence as him dating a stripper. Uh, absolutely. It is literally the stripper. Shit. I went out to get uh, the water or whatever. Nah, and yeah. And then I came back Miss and me. like she was doing this prank on me where like she was calling me other guys' names. It didn't bother me at all like that, that we did the prank and that she called me other guys' names. More for me, it was more of like we had a discussion in which, like, yo, if you're going to do something Tell me. on the whim, let me know mm. so I know. Because it's like, I'm respectful, so I handled it. I laughed it off. But that could have went like, yo, what the... You know, like, it could have went bad, and it could have made me look away. Thank God it didn't, because I'm respectful uh, in all situations. But you know what really actually, like, in all of that that bothered me was really, like... The first time Paris has ever said thank you for like, and I'm not, I'm not saying, oh my God, like she should, you know, you know, like. No, worship. I give you something, say the fuck thank you. 
me or nothing like that because I know how you guys take things. No, you need but to say thank the you. The first time she ever said thank you or I heard the words thank you or like yo, like yo, these collabs, you know, help me appreciate you was literally when she said thank you. Like, uh, none of this would be possible. Uh, thank you, D, for making this possible. And oh. I was like, like, everything just hit me right there. I was like, thank you, D. Like, I'm like, what? The first time you ever, like, said you appreciate me or, like, thank you was you call me somebody else's name. And to this day, she's never, like, had, like, uh, to me, a grateful standpoint. Like, there's certain things that mm -hmm. like, like I'm 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 aware I'm so, I'm a very self-aware person. So I am self-aware that like I was able to come up and have this platform on YouTube because of Queen. The first time Queen reacted to me my Get Light video, I was overly like, yo, hell thank yeah, you I feel him on that. I already told y'all you ain't gotta speak, you ain't gotta. I don't give a damn about none of that shit. I am very appreciative for anybody that has done anything for me, okay? And Queen is definitely um, one of them, including Lee. Whether she like me or not, I be damned I come on this camera still and say anything about Lee. Like, you can't... I am just a believer of not biting a hand that fed you at one point. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I am just that person, you know? For doing this so I with feel me, on that I know this is gonna help me. It's even to the point that like, Clarence is my man, and it's like, we friends so much that like, I don't have to say thank you to my boy, cause it's like understood, like we, we came up together, but it's like, yo, I still be like grateful, like yo, Word. bro, thank you for doing this prank with me. Thank you for doing this. Sit down. Like, you know, like, you feel me? Because it's like, it allowed me to grow. It allowed me to have a platform. And, like, that was the first time I was like, ah, this is, this is like, this is going, this is going too far. Like, I'm just like, not yeah, going nah, too far. Yeah, nah, she should have been said thank you. I'm not going to hold you. I'm not going to hold you. She should have been, been said, you know, I appreciate you. You know, I don't want to be a dancer anymore. <clears throat> and, uh... Shit, you know, I appreciate the time, my boy. She should have said something. And somebody said that he hasn't taken accountability. He has. He's he's letting you know that he's he's probably overthought this whole entire situation, but he has reason for those thoughts. And I feel like he might have been right. I am agreeing <laughs> with this nigga a hundred percent. It's some things that he's done. I'll be like, yo, Ma, what are you doing? This right here, he did the right thing. He dodged the bullet. Like you ain't tell me thank you. I not saying thank you to me is, is an issue for me because I don't have to do it. You know what I'm saying? And People should definitely be appreciative for anything that anybody does for them, including myself. Thank you. Every, every, yo, I always tell TZ, thank you for everything that you do and uh, everything that you are. You know what I'm saying? All the time because I really appreciate that shit. You know? And she don't have to give me nothing. You know what I'm saying? It's just, I don't know. What's going like? What like? What am I doing here? So, either way, the live stream ends, and in that, I just kind of fall back because it's like I really felt like after that we were really like this. Like me and me and her were never like we were never really gonna be anything other than like work friends. So it's like if. I want to do a video, I'll hit you up. Yeah, all right, we got the camera back, the real camera. Let's not draw this out any longer, okay? So, <laughs> yeah, basically, draw this out any longer, so I'll hit you up. Yeah, all right, we got the camera back, the real camera. Let's not draw this out any longer, okay? <laughs> so, yeah, basically, after that second live stream, after I, like, like what I said, I realized that uh, me and Paris will probably be better off, you know, just working together, like, you know, doing videos. Like, even to this point, I really wouldn't have a problem 
just doing a collab with Paris or nothing like that. But um, in my personal life, the Paris thing started to become like a real like nagging problem as if it was like I was having girlfriend issues, but I really wasn't like now. And you know, as a single man, oh my God, that was probably like, yo, what? The, like, as a single person, you trying to stay far, far, far away from anything like that. Like, nigga, as a single person, you wake up every day and single, no kids? Oh, God, he just got up and just... He gets up and do whatever he wants to do. You know what I'm saying? So having to get up and read comments about having to deal with a chick that he ain't even dealing with. <laughs> I, don't, I don't blame him. I don't blame him. Now there was content on the internet about... Yeah, oh, Clarence did not help. But I honestly feel like... I'm not going to lie. I don't think Clarence wanted him to be with her neither. Clarence wanted him to make a bag. I think Clarence wanted him to get some money and that that little situation could have took him to a different tax bracket <laughs> i honestly think that's what clarence was cheering on for you know and plus it was entertainment for him to react to it and put in his two cent on his best friend you know i don't think he wanted him to be with her though i, I really don't this or that. Oh, wanted him to get the cheeks, You're right. And it's like, now girls that I'm really dealing with, that I'm like, I'm a single man, but I was, you know, I'm, I'm outside. It's like, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, yeah. not looking for love, but I'm not looking for it either. You feel me? Like, I'm not not looking for it. I'm not dodging it. So it's like, I'm dealing with that from outside. And oh, it was just like, man. why? She messing up his real situations. He shouldn't have never did this. This he should have stopped that shit at hello, okay? Am I dealing with all of this for somebody who, to me, to me wasn't like too appreciative of the fact that I was growing with them, and it was like I was even dealing with like girls that, again, that I loved that were like that I wouldn't have that I never gave the opportunity to grow with me on YouTube or do videos with me because I always wanted to protect it and keep it private to some extent. And like, they really deserve the chance and they probably, um, it probably wouldn't have went that way. And they, you feel me? Like, I just started to feel all types of things on top of that, which is, which again, isn't, that's all me. Um, on top of that, I, I'm driving to finish my mixtape I lose both my tires on one side of the whip. Eight hundred dollars, eight hundred dollars right there. That like slowed me down all the way. Like you feel me? Slow me down all the way. I still had to finish. I between that and the budget it cost to finish, like completely getting my tape mastered, um, getting it put out on streaming platforms, getting it all of. Nigga, that's cause you not working. Like tell this nigga what Janae told me you are playing yourself every time he get up on YouTube he play himself he shoot himself dead in the foot and will complain not that he not making money clearly he making money doing something but he is not maximizing his full financial strength you know what I'm saying like he's not fully maximizing that and then shit happens like you fucking got two tires you gotta pay for. You know what I'm saying? And uh, he stressed me out when it comes to this money in this platform, child, because he was saying this song and, and, and has so many opportunities to continue to make money. Get that nigga be up. You be like, boy, I'm proud of that boy doing his damn thing. You know what I'm saying? So proud of him doing his thing. And then boom, he just stopped doing his thing. You be like, bro, what the hell? He's still asking borrow money from Clarence. I I don't know that to be true. I don't think that he's doing that. I don't even think they got that type of relationship. You seen what he had to go through to get him to get him out of jail. <laughs> that all of that was hitting me. So it was really like not even so much that like, you know, this is when the ghosting after this like after that video is when the ghosting comments started coming in. Um it really wasn't so much like ghosting. It was really more of like a lot was going on and I would just really 
focused on myself and when I and, and I saw somebody put comment is I'm a Virgo I was a Virgo Virgo one but like when I really get focused on myself and what I got uh, going on like so I blocked the whole world out like no, sometimes thanks. my moms be like yo why you didn't respond to my text or like why you didn't call but it's like I'm just locked and that's in probably why he can't work on YouTube when he trying to get some shit done I ain't gonna act like I'm one of the most structured people in the world to get shit done when I got something on my mind because I'm not um but you know the lifestyle he living we live in two different lifestyles okay the lifestyle he living he want to wear essentials and fucking uh drive benzes and shit like that nigga you got the you got to pay your way and i just feel like he play himself every time man he is really really tricking himself out his position trying to finish this and put it together i, I spent days I recorded like 60 songs for my project and I know it probably sounds like, oh, this is an excuse, but I recorded like 60 songs for my project and I spent days in here just listening. Y'all Y'all only got 11. Y'all only got 11 on that project and I spent days in here just listening to that besides the, the tired and all of that. When I put my tape out, it was like, when I was getting ready to do that, that was all like towards the end of the month. So like bills is coming, all of that is coming and it's like, yeah, I really just don't have time to have those conversations with, like, my work friends. So it's like when Paris is calling me or or texting me, it's just like there was things more important because I knew that, like, those calls and texts weren't like, oh, this is a person I count on to help me or a person that I count on to to, 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 to like at least release for like therapy to release my problems or or stuff like that. Like I know that that's coming with like, do you want to do videos? And right now I'm just not in a do video space. Like that's you really just that. not what I was focused on. On top of that, in the midst of that, Queen's birthday's coming around. So like I'm doing trips to go help Clarence get this car. I'm driving him places and doing all i'm doing all like there was there was just so much going on and the accountability part is he should have just said that and and i do uh like ghosting is like i'm not i don't feel like i'm right for it like you know i don't feel like i'm right for it but like when there's more important things going on like my my list of people that i talk to gets real little like you feel me like just i'm the same way so i get it however i will say it i my mind so bad it, i'm i'm i listen you're not bringing me any money right now honey okay um you're not giving me no gas you're not contributing to my life and you're not paying none of these bills oh and not making me come so listen i don't have to deal with you <laughs> so i'm gonna have to see you when i'm ready to see you like, I just, you know, I got better shit to do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I I am really that person. You be like, damn, bitch. Like, what you want me to do? If you're not helping me in none of those ways, and I'm focused right now, we ain't got nothing to talk about right now. I got to handle my business. Just naturally, like, it becomes, like, who's important? Who can I at least be like, yo, bro, this shit is stressing me out, bro. Like, yo, I can't believe this fucking car. Like, at least, like, you know, somebody to give me a solution or <laughs> something, you know, at least make me feel better. You know, like, it just, it just, I just wasn't going to get that from Paris. So it was like, like, I'm sure it's your job when you're going through things you rather talk to sandra that you came up with from from 10 years old then yeah yeah you're not making me come like people don't oh, people be mistaken shit. like okay. if you're not contributing to this nut or this bag or these bills and now or these kids <laughs> we have nothing to talk about Okay, I got shit to do. See, one thing I learned in life is talking to these fuck niggas. <laughs> That's the best way I can say it. Talking to these fuck niggas about nothing ain't making you no money. And at the end of the day, they not helping you with what you lost. They not helping you with what you lacked on. Niggas ain't trying to help you with nothing. 
So I had to learn to be selfish with myself. Fuck this shit. I don't have time for this. Nobody's trying to help you. Nobody. And when you get caught up on that situation, when you, one thing you can never get back is time, man. You can never get back time. And I got so tired of wasting time with people. You know what I'm saying? Girl. Mm -mm. Straight. Ricky, that you just see at the coffee machine and, and you give him your paper. She was contributing to the bag, but bringing stress. I get what he's saying. In order for him to go live and to go public about him doing videos with her, the comments and shit was stressing him to fuck out. Not only that, she wasn't appreciative at all. The, the con that people are putting them in a couple. He, he don't even like her. He don't even like the fact that she's a dancer, right? So that's number one. Number two, she's not appreciative for shit. You, I hit you up. You not ready. When you hit me up, you expect me to be ready. No. Um, I'm done with my work and you want to work after I'm done with mine. Y'all, it wasn't working. Okay. She wasn't even going to be able to make him a bag because she was stressing his ass the fuck out. Honestly, <laughs> he could not deal with it. A overthinker needs a level headed person, a overthinker and a over, you know, anybody that just do the most needs somebody that, you know, it's like yin and yang. I'm for sure Yang, but TT is my Yin. Like she, <sighs> calm down, honey, relax. <sighs> it's not that deep. That's the that is my calm. But if I had somebody that was like, "Yo, Nick, you know what I'm saying? We gotta get this shit right." Damn, you know? I'm already there. My mind is already there, and now you're doing it. Oh no, that's not gonna work. <laughs> this is not. This is not gonna work. He need a woman to be like, oh, okay, well, we can work when you're ready. I'll be ready when you're ready. Um, I'm about to do this prank on you. Is that okay? Thank you so much for helping. This is what he wanted. What she was offering, he want that shit. <laughs> he give you papers when they print out the fax machine. Like, you feel me? So that's like really what it was. And then in that time, I felt like, entitlement like and i don't want to use that word to like entitled he was she was stressing him out make uh <laughs> paris seem like a bad person but like i felt like entitlement began to creep in where like she just started speaking for me or like about me or like yo i don't know when we're gonna do another collab or like i don't know when he's gonna when he's a he's not writing me back he's ghosting me i texted him two times it's three times it's like and then took it to the internet, y'all. Oh, you already know you out the door. Not took some shit to the internet and I ain't never had no issue on the internet with a woman. Oh, no. Girl, man. This wasn't bad. There's no mindfulness to why, why I may not have been responding to you. There's no, there's no care to my situation. The first time I even saw a little care in this, in, in her speech, was probably when I went to jail, but that was just, again, another internet situation. It went public on the internet, so now you wanna hit me up to make sure I'm okay. And then, because of the ghosting situation, I actually did respond to her in that moment. Um, where's the text message? Uh, Harry said on oh, November 7th, she said, are you okay? I hope you are. And I responded, yeah, I'm good. I've been having a lot going on. I had to sit down and figure out shit for real. Uh, how are you? And she said, nah, I feel you. About like three exclamation points and I've been good. I don't know what I'm supposed to say back to her to like, cause it comes down to like, now her last video is like, are we beefing or not? And it's like, what do we really have to talk so much about? And it's like, I don't know if, I don't know if on her side, she felt like we were way closer than we were, but like me as a person, it takes me so long to be close with a person. And it's like, it's not going to be a few videos. It's not going to be and see, just now, like we weren't in business. Now that's how I am. You know, after dealing with all these fuck niggas, y'all, I'm done with the chances and the, 
nigga. <clears throat> so clearly he caught on to this part of life early. Okay, and I caught on to it late. I don't blame him. I, I honestly, y'all, I don't blame him at all. I don't think that he's wrong. Now, the only thing I disagree on is the ghost and child. You could have told him. Um, but yeah, nah, I, I, don't, I don't blame him at all, actually. This is together. I can still make videos with anybody. I can, I, like, she can still make videos with anybody. So I don't really get, like, <clears throat> I don't know. I just felt like it really started to seem like real, like just mad, ent like entitled. Like I owed her my time, or like I'm supposed to respond to her. And it you, you just could have. It would have been nice to just be like, "Yo, I don't want to do this." You know what I'm saying I don't do this. It's like she's not my girl. She's not my friend from Sandbox. She's not, she's not anybody that's really done anything for me to make me, like, you feel me? Like, on the, on the give and take, on the give and take, I feel like my overthinking ass and my, my caring ass and like, you feel me, just sometimes dumb to a fault of just being the super nice guy uh, you know, always overreached or overextended, offer her opportunities. You feel me? She, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not even about to sit here and do that and just say what I, what I was doing. But it's just like, yeah, I just feel like, it, like to a point, it got like a little insensitive. I don't want to say that she was ever ingenuine or anything like that, but you know, it just. It just became a situation that I felt like I outgrew, not outgrew, or I was just over. Like it was just, it it, it was just no more. Like you know, and this, I feel like that's okay. It's okay for me in Paris to not still be doing videos. It's okay for like, like all of this to have happened. Like everything doesn't, every fairy tale doesn't turn out how you guys wanted to and you guys have to be okay with that that's okay. like like that's just basically what that is okay. and yeah and i feel like i'm i'm done i'm done we talked enough about this i don't i don't talk this situation from the bottom to the top other than that it's your boy mod man don't stop supporting paris i'm not saying stop supporting paris um, I'm not against doing another video with Paris. It's just, it is what it is at this point. And um, yeah, I guess you feel me. I guess I was, I guess I was wrong for going ghost. I, I guess I could say I was wrong for going ghost, but yes. it was just like that's not really a bug. I don't, like I was wrong for going ghost. The end goes <laughs> I don't feel like I'm like, I have to write you back or I have to respond to you or message you when we're really not that close off camera. Like off camera is like the real. On camera is like entertainment. Okay. It's for the people. The chemistry was cool. But off camera, we weren't that close. So... I just don't get where all of it comes from, and I get, and I really feel like a little big problem is like you guys as the supporters and the fans, like because again her 10k is mixed up with a lot of my following and like the people that support me. So yeah, just leave her alone and leave me alone, and let her grow and let me do my thing. Okay. Um. Y'all, it's been an hour. He said we said.